An admission by the Philippines' defense chief that the Philippines is not capable of defending its territories in the South China Sea. In an exclusive interview with ABS-CBN News at a high-level security summit in Singapore, Secretary Delphine Lorenzana said it will take time for Manila to be ready to defend its claims in disputed waters. At present, uh, you know, we, we don't have any capabilities to uh, even uh, just to uh, demonstrate to others that uh, we are capable because we don't, we're not capable. We, have, we don't have the uh, capital ships, we don't have the, uh, the weapons. Uh, our, our sole uh, airstrip in, uh, in Pagasa is still uh, very short and it is unpaved. So we're trying to uh, also <laughs> pave that for us so that we can bring in uh, our, our aircraft anytime because uh, at present you can only land there if there, were, there was five days of sunshine. Because if it is soggy, if, mm -hmm. if it is soggy and uh, you cannot land. So that's, that's one of the, the improvements that we are we're doing. So it will take some time, Annalisa, to, uh, for us to be, uh, to be ready to defend our territories uh, the way it should have, we should have defended in the first place. Magdalo Representative Gary Alejano slams the defeatist stance. He says while going to war is not an option, neither is silence, which will only embolden China to continue its militarization in the South China Sea. When we do public statements uh, regarding our defense of the country, we should not say that we cannot defend our, our country. By all means, we should defend our country with our available assets. And uh, the point is, even if, assuming we already modernize, I don't think we will go to war with, with China. So the point is, we should not resort to war. There are so many other options that we could avail of using uh, uh, lawfare and also gathering and uh, building consensus uh, in the international community to pressure China that China is, is uh, you know, uh, bullying small countries like, like the Philippines. Lorenzana says China's rapid militarization of the area may be the wake-up call lawmakers need to invest seriously in modernizing the Philippine military. I know I'm hearing some uh, different tune from our congressmen and senators. Uh, normally our budget is only uh, less than 1% of yes. our GDP. Now uh, I heard one congressman saying that it should be increased to 2%. Uh, well, that's well and good. During a bilateral meeting with his American counterpart, Jim Mattis, Lorenzana said the U.S. is open to helping the Philippines fill in the gaps in its defense capabilities. We talk nothing but uh, what happened in the past. I thank them for their assistance in Marawi and the continued assistance to our military and also some of the uh, equipment that they gave us in the past. So, but yeah, they keep, keep asking me what else do they, can, can they help. I said, yeah, well, we will think of things that uh, we, will, we will, will ask you later on. I don't have the list with me. So. Military assets. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> yeah, military assets, yeah. Just to improve our capability as well, yeah. especially mm -hmm. the Navy and maybe the Air Force. Yeah. Despite a mutual defense treaty, the United States has been non-committal about coming to the aid of the Philippines when it comes to Manila-occupied reefs and Filipino vessels in the disputed South China Sea. A stark contrast to a U.S. guarantee it would defend Japan's Senkaku Islands, which China also claims. A Chinese official was quick to warn the U.S. that it should be prepared for consequences should it intervene in the South China Sea. If uh, the Philippines try to invite the external power to get involved and uh, use force, I think it will, will be a disaster uh, for, for the Philippines, for the United States, and for this region. American lawmakers who were part of a delegation led by Mattis at the Shangri-La Dialogue moved to reassure Philippine allies. I really see uh, no wavering in the commitment of the United States to keep our obligations to the Philippines, to uh, defend the Philippines if it is attacked, um, and, and I think that will be lasting. 
And while the U.S. condemns China's deployment of military weapons in the South China Sea, lawmakers say claimant countries need to take the lead. The United States can't care more for the sovereignty of the claimants than the claimants themselves. Uh, and so we look forward to working in partnership with them to uh, achieve uh, their, their own resolution. It's not something that we're going to determine. This is going to be determined uh, according to international law and uh, by the claimants. And so uh, what we have to do is make sure that we uh, give the room and the chance for international law to be observed. It's a strategy Lorenzana prefers. The Philippines banding with other claimants, Vietnam, Malaysia, Indonesia, and Brunei, to become a stronger voice against China. Alejano also supports a multilateral approach in dealing with China to promote transparency. We should both use bilateral and multilateral approach. Because if you allow a China to talk to you bilaterally, you will be at the losing end. We will never know what's happening inside a secret room when you discuss uh, the issues on the West Philippine Sea. And when they go out of that room, nobody knows. So we want the, the issue to be out in the open in, in a multilateral forum so that China will be pressured in its dealings with, with the Philippines. Annalisa Burgos, ABS-CBN News.